Thank you so much. We are so honored to be here. Yeah, we just love your heart. You oh my gosh, we just hey, love tell it. them about the blind lady who opened. She got to see her husband the first oh time my last gosh. year. Okay, so last year, and she's actually here somewhere. She she texts me. Oh, I hear her. She's over there. Oh, get over oh here. Oh my come gosh, on, quick, come, come on, on up, Juan Al. Come on, come on, come on. Where are you? Juan Al, you can come on come up. On, come on, come, 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 come. Oh my gosh, guys. This is crazy. Come on. Wow. Look oh. at you. Oh, she's running. And too. she's running. Guys, she could not see last year when Come she on, first came. Come on, guys. Give to Jesus some praise. This is amazing. <laughs> Come here. I got you. Come here. Give me a second. I got to love her a second. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So a quick, um, quick story with this beautiful woman. Um, no, you're great. Um, so last year we were walking outside the hotel and we ran into Juanel and we decided to pray for her. But at the time when she looked at my face, all she could see were the outside of my earrings. Is that right? Not even, your earrings. Not even my earrings. Just It was very blurry. Um, and so we had this <laughs> kind of this running joke between the two of us, didn't we? I'd say, see you later, Juanel. And what would you say? I said, I hope I see you later. But she thought I said, see you, I will see you later. <laughs> so I kept saying, no, 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 I'll see you later, see you later. Hope and so you. then the next day came, and same thing. So you thing. prayed for her more than once? We, we would just see each other and yeah. just talk. Oh, I mean, it was just family. Yeah. Wow. And so we would see each other, and we'd say, okay, see you later, see you later. And at that point, she still couldn't see. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. Um, and but. then so the third day comes. Great things happen on the third day in history, <laughs> don't they? And the third day comes. She comes into the healing rooms. <laughs> I'm at the back, and all of a sudden, I hear this scream from the front, and tell them what had happened. <laughs> That's what I heard. That's what I heard. <laughs> what had happened? Well, um, Ian and his wife prayed with me, and I had been thinking I had to be in the main auditorium so the man could pray for me, you know? And God said, you're looking for a man. Well, now, I'm the one that heals you. Yeah. Yeah. And we are not healed because enough people don't pray for one for another, you know? And... So, because we were in the main room, there was 800 people in line for the prayer room. So I'm like, I'm not going to get healed. But you know what? We came back in time, walked right in, and we were in the overflow normally. And right in front of where I sat in the overflow room was Ian and his wife. And they asked me, you know, what is it? And well, I have glaucoma, I have macular degeneration. I'm, you know. How many years uh, did you have that? Uh, I was 55 and I'm 69 now, so it had been 13 years that I was, you know, at 40 I went to law school and I th thought I never would have done this if I'd known I was going to be blind in 15 years. It's too hard, you know. But what we forget is I was dying of COPD in April before the concert, the conference. I didn't know I had COPD. I've never smoked. I tried one time and lit the wrong end of the cigarette, and my friend yeah, laughed at me. Much. No, <laughs> she laughed well, at me and embarrassed do. me, so I didn't do it again. Angela said, can we pray? When I was sitting in the park, because my husband set the blind lady down so he could go do something, right? <laughs> so she prayed with me, and when she left, I breathed in the deepest, freshest breath of air. Had I not been healed of COPD, I might be dead by now because I was heading back to the hospital. And I said, I'm going to wait till I get out of the conference and see if Jesus will heal my eyes. And I'm so thrilled he healed my eyes. But he healed my COPD, guys. Wow. I'm, Come on. I'm an old lady. Wow. God loves old ladies. <laughs> what happened when, they, when your eyes opened? What so, was it like? So Ian prayed, and he prayed for joy, you know. And uh, just, you know, and so they're praying, and I'm, you know. And then he said, okay, open your eyes and tell me what you see. So I looked at his wife. I was in shock. <laughs> I could see her eyes. I could see her earrings. I could see her hairline. I could see everything. And he says, well, look at me and see what you see. So I looked at him. I mean, I see so many beards now. I never could see beards before. You know, you yeah, see I see. That's you see those little white ones? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 27 but I'm old. white ones. <laughs> 27, if you yeah. pull them out, you'll have 59. <laughs> so, and he had prayed for joy. And I started cackling. I started cackling. I started cackling. I'm sorry. I was filled with joy <laughs> because I have the most wonderful husband that God also gave me. I was a widow, and the Lord brought me just a wonderful husband. And I had a friend who said, 
He's he's good looking. I know you'd want to know that. <laughs> so you've never seen him? No, no. And what do, is he? Do you still think he's good looking? Oh, he's better than ever. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <man. laughs> so so Juanel could not see the face of her husband. She had never seen the face of her husband. And his beautiful blue eyes. Until last, <laughs> until the last Jesus Jesus meeting. Yes. yes. Yeah. And I love it too because that that day when she walked away. Um, after we first met, like we didn't necessarily know that anything happened. We just have a core conviction that it's impossible to pray and nothing start to happen. And so as we left, it was that declaration like, yeah, I'm going to see you later. Like you're going to see me later. And just believing that God was going to back up his word because he already did with his son, you know, so. Wow. Can we give Jesus (laughs) praise? I want all of you to stand up. Could you do that? I feel the, the power of God. Right, just if he bit. did it for me, he'll do it for you. Yeah. I'm nobody special. I'm old. Come on. You guys are young. You've still got a life ahead of you that can really do things for God. God told me, sound the alarm. Now is the time for the miracle of souls and healings. Yes. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> Hallelujah. Pray for them. Don't waste your time. Jesus will heal you. It's not, oh, I wish he would. I mean, you know, I guess I'm just not good enough. I guess, you know, but I love you anyway, God. No, this is Jesus. He left heaven for you. He did everything for you. He died for you. He took thorns on his head. I wouldn't do that. Would you do that? Jesus did that for you. Would he not heal you? Like she said, would he really not heal you? No. He saved you. He'll heal you. There is nothing impossible with the God I serve, and I'm living proof. Hallelujah.